Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well that are watching this video and those who aren't watching this video, I hope you're also doing well. My name is Quinn and I just wanted to talk about my experience and personal encounters with losing creativity and what it does to someone. I'm going to be talking about my own personal experiences here and I'm going to throw a little bit of my own thoughts on what is happening to kids these days and why we need to keep creativity going and keep it pumping through our hearts, our brains, everything. If you enjoy this video, I hope you can recommend this to someone. I hope you like it. I hope you subscribe. I make videos like this all the time. Well, I say all the time, but this is my third video. So if you like this kind of stuff, please check out my other two videos. And I hope I can continue pumping out content that is relatable and that people can enjoy listening to just casually when playing games or reading the book or whatever. Anyways, let's get into the video. Thank you everyone for watching. I personally have been struggling with the idea of losing creativity recently. The last two years, I haven't been feeling creative. The last creative thing I've done besides doing these videos that I've been making is making clothing designs about two years ago. I struggle with losing passion for things recently a lot, a lot, a lot, because, or at least what I think it is, is this pressure of society making us believe that we need to just always be working harder and our creativity is just kind of being stifled and i mean f you could you could potentially say that the education system has failed in that in some regard they standardize testing and the rigid curriculums they may prioritize like a more conformity over students to think other than the idea of embracing creativity and passions amongst yourself there's always there's always been a problem that I've found, at least, with kids losing touch of what they really care about. I was passionate about creating YouTube videos when I was like eight years old, seven years old. I feel like a lot of people who grew up in my time were. Everyone made a YouTube channel back then and everyone made videos. And admittedly, my videos were very cringe, but I loved it. And I didn't care about what society thought about my videos. What I thought about my videos was that they were fun. I had fun making them, they were cool, they were awesome, they were everything that I could have ever asked to do. Back when I was 7, and YouTube's guidelines for making money and getting ads on videos were very loose, I remember I got ads on my videos when I had like 200 subscribers, and I made one whole cent, one whole cent off of a YouTube video, and I remember that day, I remember that day, like it was the best day of my life. I remember looking at my little computer on my YouTube channel and I saw I made one cent. Now I didn't have a bank account or anything to be able to claim this one cent. So somewhere in the void of the internet, my old YouTube channel still has one cent somewhere that can be claimed. <laughs> but that's, that's besides the point. My point is that I was so passionate about making these videos that it eventually got me somewhere. I mean, by somewhere I mean it got me one cent but it, it 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 made my my kid self believe that I could do this that it was possible that it was something that was achievable uh, and I kept going I kept making YouTube videos until one day I just I just stopped I can't tell you why I stopped because I don't even know myself I just stopped it's possible that I stopped because people around me like school mates and stuff were telling me that it was cringy and weird and I shouldn't be doing that. And maybe I stopped out of pure, pure pressure of me looking weird. And I think that's a big issue with people losing creativity. It's that pressure of being judged, the idea of being laughed at for what you're creating. Now, let's be honest here. When we start to create something, whether it be a YouTube video, a, a piece of clothing, whatever, it's going to be bad. Your first couple times are going to be pretty bad. And as you hone your skills, as you get better with maybe YouTube editing or creating graphic designs, you're going to get better. And eventually you'll make something that some might call a masterpiece. But a lot of us don't get there because a lot of us quit. A lot of us give up and a lot of us just stop because of these issues with society just pushing us to give up maybe it's our friends saying you, we're weird and we're just we, we're never gonna make it you're never gonna make it you need to you need to just quit on your dreams and go get a job 
or whatever it is. I hate that. I hate that about people. The idea of losing creativity is so sad to me. It's concerning because I think, well, not I think, I know. I know that the only reason we have the things we have is because people were creative enough to follow their passions and create the things we love today. The iPhone, computers, anything, name anything. And you can see the creativity and thought that was originally put into that design. But it's hindered nowadays. Creativity is just an idea now. It's not a thing that we possess anymore. And I think we're just all slowly losing that creativity that we had when we were children. I have a little cousin. They are about four years old. And I saw my cousin making YouTube videos. And my uncle, auntie, they tried to stop him from making these videos. And I was like, no, let him make videos. Maybe only let him post it to, you know, friends and family for like safety reasons, I get that, but let him make the videos because it's all creativity and you can't, you cannot kill that creativity. You can't kill that flame inside of someone's heart. It's the worst thing you can do to a kid, I swear. And I'm sad that it happened to me. Now, nowadays I'm trying to get better with my creativity issues. I decided to go travel and traveling has helped me a lot with creativity. Being able to see different cultures, different worlds, different foods, different everything from what I'm used to is, changing it's it's mind-boggling it's amazing because all of a sudden you go to on a trip and you have all these new ideas these new questions these just these thoughts that you never had before because you're so used to your mundane life back home creativity needs to be studied and not creativity itself but the loss of it the loss of how we're dealing with the loss of creativity and why it's so important we need to keep it as a society our creativity is the only thing that holds us back in life and not the creativity but the lack of it the lack of our creativity is what holds us back you need to be passionate and if you're passionate about something don't quit it please keep pushing forward keep going keep trying it ties into what i was talking about in my last video about embracing failure you need to continue to push forward because you need to fail to succeed and it's the same idea with creativity you need to keep creating. You cannot stop. You need to keep making things. You need to keep doing things. You need to keep your mind working to be able to create these beautiful things that you want to make. I don't know if this video will ever get published. I'm not going to lie. Because I usually write scripts for these videos, but this was all off the top. This was all off the pure ideas that I have and the pure random burst of passion I had to make this video. I'm currently sitting in my dark room with nothing but my bright monitors in my face with my microphone in front of me and i'm just talking to a black screen on obs to tell you that you need to be creative please continue to push creativity to yourself and to others you need to just keep trying keep going and don't care what anyone says about what you're doing make youtube videos stream make clothes create swords whatever it is if you're passionate about it please keep doing it Work hard, keep that creativity flowing in your brain and your heart. And I wish you all the best on your creative journeys. Thank you everyone and anyone for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day or night. And I'm out of here. I'm Quinn, and that's all for me. Goodbye.